I'm Mike Golub. I am the Chief Operating Officer of the Portland Timbers. When I root, I root for the Timbers! The Portland Timbers are now in our third year of Major League Soccer. We've really taken the city and the league by storm. Chance to make a two for the Timbers, yes! Portland has long been referred to as Soccer City USA because people eat and breathe soccer in the city. And when I go, and when I go, make sure I'm wearing green and gold. Our fans are the most passionate, avid, crazy, wacky, devoted, engaged fans I've ever been around in sports. It sounds like hyperbole, but it isn't. They are nuts. <laughs> One of the reasons why I just love sports in general is there are very few places in contemporary society where you can come and regardless of your age, your gender, your ethnicity, your socioeconomic status, you have this shared experience. It's not every day you get a chance to start a sports team from scratch. We were able to sit down and say, you know, what should we be? But we really wanted to be authentic to the game, authentic to our city. Think of ourselves as sort of the people's team, accessible, down to earth, fun, and I think we clearly have achieved that. Tonight we'll have people on their feet all game, singing and chanting and dancing and creating an environment that is unique. We have been one of the most successful pro sports expansion launches in history. We are the high point to date for a major league soccer team in terms of sponsorship. The thing that fans will notice isn't any of that, but is really the atmosphere here is second to none. It's little bits of all the great soccer cultures mixed in a bowl, and it turns out to be something that's decidedly Portland, and it's a special experience. Sports is an interesting business. People choose to support us and buy tickets and wear their gear, not from here, but from here. You don't buy your cable because you love the cable company. You buy your cable because I've got to have cable. Support a sports team because it represents who you are, it represents your city, it makes you proud. I knew I wanted to be in the sports industry and was lucky enough to get into the Stanford Graduate School of Business. I don't use microeconomics on a daily basis running a sports team, but it taught me how to think better, how to manage better, how to be more self-aware, just be more strategic. Hey, how you doing? Mike Golub is the face and I think something of the heart of this team. You come to a game here, Mike Golub is working the stands. He's the front of the house guy, which is why they've been very successful here. I used to work for David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA, and he used to say, Mike, you gotta be more of an asshole. You gotta be harder on people, you gotta be more of an asshole. And I said, David, you know, it's not me. I, I think I can get people's respect and get things done in an effective way without banging a table and, and being mean to people. And that was an interesting lesson. I think the skills I learned at business school gave me the security and comfort to be able to manage my career and my day-to-day -day interactions in a way that's consistent with who I am as a person. If you're a young person and have a genuine interest in getting into sports where there aren't very many jobs, you have to take it as seriously as pre-med students take the medical profession. So many people I've encountered abandon the hope and go on to a more traditional route. And there's nothing wrong with that, but don't, don't give up. Stay true to your original objectives that, that sent you to business school in the first place. In the end, if you're really committed, there'll be opportunities. It's not life and death, it's sports, but we're bringing people together and we're giving back and we're uniting people and we're creating fun and making people proud of its team and its city. And that's why I love this business. This last few years with Timbers has been enormously fun because I think we've achieved that sort of connection. A team in town, community and city and club, and it's been really fun. Yeah.